Hey guys, this is Wakandi West and I am here to give you some test taking strategies and tips for the ACT reading section. First, I'll tell you what the ACT reading section looks like. This particular section has 40 items uh, that must be completed. Uh, and you only have 35 minutes to complete this section. Along with those 40 items, you have four passages to read. Um, after each passage, you have 10 questions. So all of that equals to 40 items. Each passage has a title. The first passage is typically the fiction passage. Uh, a lot of times it's called the prose fiction. Next you will have a social science passage. You will have a humanities passage. And you will have a natural science passage. I name those passages because they are in that order on the reading exam. However, one test taking tip for the ACT reading is you don't have to read the passages in the order that they are given to you. Uh, one strategy I like to um, tell my clients to use is read each passage but only read the first three sentences first before you read any passage all the way through read the first three sentences first when you do this for each passage you're gonna figure out which passage you want to read last basically when you read those first three sentences of each passage you'll know, it'll just jump out at you, you'll know which one is going to be the most difficult to read or the one that you are not that interested in reading. After you figure out the one that you are not that interested in reading or the one that seems like it's going to be the most difficult, you want to save that passage for last. Then you need to proceed with reading the passage that you want to read first. Again, you do not have to read the passages in the order that they are given to you in the ACT reading booklet. Now, once you have read one passage, you need to make sure you scan through quickly, read quickly. You need to underline things that you think are important dates, um, the name of a person, the name of an organization, different things like that. Put stars, uh, put a star by transitional words like um, furthermore and therefore and um, later on, uh, the following year, different things, transitions uh, because that's going to uh, change the tone of the passage that you're reading and you want to be sure to pay attention to when the tone changes. With the fictional prose, it's the only fiction passage. Make sure you pay attention to the author's voice uh, and the theme of that passage, the theme of that fictional passage. You want to uh, pay attention to the author's purpose and uh, you want to be able to pick those things out. Again, on all of the passages, make sure you read quickly. Uh, read, um, uh, make sure you're engaged while you're reading, meaning you want to underline, make stars, uh, mark different items that you think you will have to go back to. Big, big, big mistake that a lot of test takers make is they're not interested in reading the passages and they think that they can read the question, then go find the answer. Read the next question, go find the answer. 
you will not be successful with that strategy. You're um, you're going to waste a lot of time, and you're going to become really, really frustrated if you do that. Um, the next thing you want to make sure you do not skip any uh, items when you after you read a passage, answer all of those questions. If you can't find the answer, make an educated guess and make sure you keep moving right along. You don't want to waste a lot of time on any particular item. Again, save the passage that you think is going to be the most difficult. Save it for last or the passage that you're not really interested in reading. Save that one for last. What's going to happen is those first three passages that you read, you want to do your very, very best job uh, on those three passages. And that's going to um, hopefully give you 30 points. You want to get as many of those right as possible on that uh, reading section of the ACT English. Again, remember you have 40 items, you have 35 minutes. Uh, and you have four passages to read. And um, remember when you're at home prepping for the ACT reading, make sure you are timing yourself. Set the timer on your um, clock, your watch, your cell phone. Uh, it doesn't matter. Uh, again, you have to time yourself. There's no reason to prep for the ACT if you're not going to time yourself. Remember, time is of the essence and you that's how you need to practice when you are prepping for the ACT. Uh, I will be back to give you some more tips for the ACT, ACT science and ACT math. I hope that these different tips and strategies have helped you. Um, be sure to come back to my channel for more test-taking tips. Thank you.